the Oriental Institute excavated Persepolis between 1931 and 1939, and this was really the first scientific excavation of the site. This relief comes from one of the monumental buildings, one of the palaces of Persepolis, and it depicts a lion and bull in combat. Um, it's very beautifully engraved. This motif is a very ancient and long tradition in the ancient Middle East. These are two noble and very powerful animals and they reflect the power and the prestige of the empire. The ancient city of Persepolis, which was one of the capitals of the Achaemenid Empire, is in the cradle of civilization. It's where domestication first occurred, where the first villages and the first cities and the first empires grew up. So it's an early data set in understanding the civilization of humanity. It's a very special area for understanding what our founder called the story of the human career. When you look at this Achaemenid art, what really draws your attention is the very careful attention to detail and the intricate carving and the, just the beauty and the majesty of the artwork. It gives you insights into the imperial ideology and how they conceived of themselves and the type of propaganda that they wanted to uh, present as an empire. Moving artifacts of this kind is always a major undertaking and it take, actually takes a few months to lay the logistical groundwork for moving a, a piece like this. It's delivered here to our storage area and then we hired a company that deals specifically with the movement of artwork and they move it under very controlled conditions. And so to have it here after all these decades and our colleagues at the Museum of Fine Arts agreed with us that it was time to bring this important piece back to Chicago and for it to come back for the centennial really gave it special significance. The Oriental Institute will celebrate its centennial in the 2019-2020 academic year. And this really is an opportunity, of course, to look back over our long, illustrious history of excavation and research in the ancient Middle East, to look to the future in our current projects to attract greater engagement and really raise the visibility of the Oriental Institute on campus, in the city, nationally, and even internationally.